Hello, Adam Rayner, Talk Audio TV. I'm at AV Tech Solutions today to look at JL Audio Home Theatre and Stereo Use Subwoofers. This is the flagship that's in the UK. This is the Fathom. And what you're looking at are some notes, things people have said about the JL Audio Fathom. A reference quality and a benchmark by which all other subwoofers can be judged. Heck, that's quite some review. Let's have a little look at this thing now. Let's just turn around and have a shifty at the product. Okay, right, so on the right of your picture, Mr. Manny Jarnal, on the left of your picture, that's Mr. Gavin Prisk. And both these guys, aerospace engineering courses they were doing at uh, Kingston University. It's really quite hard to get into for engineering when they met each other. And, well, AV Tech Solutions, that's Manny's company, and this is currently the biggest, most fabulous thing you bring in, isn't it, Manny? Tell us what this beast here is called. This particular unit is our largest dual driver Fathom subwoofer, basically. It's uh -huh. 102, kilogram, 102 kilograms. Whoa. It's a dual 12 inch drive unit capable of two inches, three inches peak to peak excursion, sorry. 3,600 watts RMS, and it's got Jeez. a front mounted control panel. Awesome. Now, what you get in the accessory kit. Oh, yes, there's a whole bunch of stuff you get, yeah. get with it. There's a yeah. kit on the deck of it. Yeah, so you get a mains lead, cool. which you get a set of gloves so that you can move the subwoofer off around basically without putting fingerprints or marks on. If you've been watching all these videos you'll have noticed Gavin and Manny both wearing these lovely white gloves for handling everything. Yep. They get, you get one pair with every set, yes? Yes, you yes. Get. Then you get a lovely nice manual which is Book. very well, well written and it tells you about subwoofer positioning, yes. all the various controls. What's the diagram in there that shows the most subwoofers, Manny? Um, well, <laughs> the one that they show for the most even room response is four subwoofers in multiple arrangements, which is that particular diagram. Yeah, and how much are these each? This one's six thousand five hundred pounds, basically. So that's. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> you could spend some money on these, but yes. at this point, I will confess I have tested one of these at home, and the big fact that I discovered is something that you didn't want me to talk about. JL Audio didn't want me to talk about it, and the magazine certainly didn't want me to talk about it. I tested it with Master and Commander, and frankly, um, on one of those, let me look at his face, just don't say it. On one of those cannon blasts, I spat the grill clean off the front of the Fathom and threw it across the bloody room. Um, meaning I might have been doing a little bit of something hooligan. It's a bit like Jeremy Clarkson burning the flipping tires on the Bentley that time, but. This subwoofer, literally, in British homes is, is a product of almost limitless power. Um, Gavin, tell me, what's coming in at the end of the year, though? Because you power-crazed nutty, you said there was something even bigger coming in. <laughs> the Gotham will finally be coming to the UK, and which is the true flagship, which is essentially the dual 13 and a half, uh, but it has a different cabinet construction, and it's something like 160-something kilos? 162 it? kilos, yeah. So it's, yeah, another level. Yes, I've been lucky enough, I went to JL Audio and I do have a video of the front of the Gotham being routed out. And they have a diamond tipped bit that gets worn out every other day. And it has to take five passes to go through the material the cabinet's made of, which is some sort of resin with rock and God knows what hard stuff in there. And it's seriously inert. But I need to tell you that I have had to go on one of these. And it doesn't matter how greedy you are, this is just a base monster. The final thing you get with every fathom is the microphone oh, for the Darrow. Yes. It comes in this neat little pouch. Let's have a little look at the microphone. Let's get a quite a long cable. Here, boy. This, is, this is a very sophisticated Take the nut, yeah. little piece of ordnance here. If I put that on my paw, see if we can get it to focus on it's, my hand. Just, uh, it's a laboratory grade balanced microphone. And that is not a cheap item. No. You see the plug hole in the back, which is, uh, oh, be still my heart. That is a microscopic sized XLR. Do you know what? I've always said that car audio should use XLR and a microscopic size to be properly balanced as a good standard for car audio amplifiers. And there it is, the uh, Switchcraft Tiny QG connector, as it's called, the micro XLR. Just happening to be on the back of that microphone there. One of the things that Gel, Gel Audio has obviously thought about is with this unit weighing as much as it does, which is 102 kilos, yes. it's a struggle to move around. So, struggle, that's, that's so, intestinal bursting. Yes, <laughs> so what you have been given with each F212V2 is these super sliders. So you place them underneath the sub and it allows it to move a lot easier. So instead of carpet. spikes using big rubber feet yeah. or super sliders to get it into place. Yeah, if you want carpet. So wow. if you're on carpet, you can put the sliders on. Now, one of the beauties of this particular unit, which has been explained with the others, it's got a front mounted control panel because I don't think you want to be leaning over the back of this thing. Um, well, it's trying to eviscerate you. Yes. yes. 
So you've got 3,600 watts RMS, again, dual 12-inch dual drive unit in a sort of like overlay configuration, so one at the bottom, one at the top. Uh, the beauty of this particular unit as well, the lower unit couples to the room because it's closer to the ground. Yes. The upper unit normally couples to your body, so it gives you that more tactile feel. <laughs> so the tactile read, how's the base? Oh, it's really awesome, man. Yeah. Absolutely so, fab. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm punching you in the breastbone. It, it gives you great upper base response. Wow. So it's it's a very pleasant unit to actually be uh, in any home si theatre system or any two-channel system. It's it's a pretty phenomenal unit. And, and just to absolutely reiterate, I've been going on about power and light and main and watts, but all of that is about the way that a Bentley has sufficient power to do what it needs to do. These are some of the most high fidelity subwoofers known to man. And to be honest, it's about how fast they stop as well as how fast they go. Manny, Gavin, thank you so, so much. That's absolutely been a heck of a day's filming here looking at these jailwoofers. This is Adam Rayner for Talk Audio TV and AV Tech Solutions. Don't forget the hyphen. .co.uk. Thanks ever so much, guys. Thank you. Thank Cheers. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, well, just to finish off, the excursion or XMAX travel on these products is a big chunk of what we've been talking about. So let's just have a little look at what the 13 inch. Gavin, what's the excursion peak to peak on this in inches? Four inches on this unit. Four inches. It's a hurricane, ladies and gentlemen. It's measured in inches.